Grouch Potatoes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Grouch Potatoes. My name's Jace, this is Jamie. Jace uh, just crushed my heart into a million tiny pieces. Alright. I'm gonna try to get back in the zone by reading this amazing article from BuzzFeed. My favorite news for, uh, source. Uh-huh. 20 reasons we should all aspire to be Xenon. Girl of the 21st century. You know her. You know the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For starters, Jace. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but she gets to live in a totally awesome space station. That's the bullet point. That's what it says. Yeah. This is, this is actually, someone wrote this. This is their job to write this. Defying authority is a way of life in Xenon's book. Fuck the police. Right, right, Who right. I'm, I'm familiar with the philosophy of fucking oh, police. Oh, here we go. Right here. This is a quote from the show. Why be in the audience, Neb, when you have the chance to be center stage? Words to live by. What it says on yeah? Here. It says okay. Absolutely. Hands down? She's hands down. You can't argue it. There are no facts to argue against it. A better astronaut. At the ripe age of 13, that is when they are ripe. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> All of NASA. I didn't say it, Jace. BuzzFeed said it. All right, okay. The ripe age of 13. Are you going... <laughs> Continue. Four. She has her own catchphrase. She does. Do you have a catchphrase? Um, I have shlem shlem shlemity bop. <laughs> I have multiple catchphrases, but that's because I have always aspired to be Xenon. Grass. century. Tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Oh, here we go. This is obviously, this is probably my number one reason to live like Xenon. She adds adjectives like, and these are in quotes, minor or major at the end of noun for emphasis. At the end of a noun for emphasis. How has anyone lived without doing that? Um, wh what are you asking me? How has anyone, a very effective strategy. Here's an example. One sin minor in my life is living black hole. I, d what? Six. She is extremely gifted in claymation. Wait, that's, wait, that's, really? Apparently. Let's, when did they establish wait, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna watch the in GIF. the movie? I'm gonna watch the GIF. Okay. Look at look at that. That proves it. <laughs> <laughs> right. She and Nebula were fashion icons for the entire space station. Yeah, is that so? Yeah. Um. And we're also kind of the mean girls. But who cares? Those vests equal fab. Someone got paid to write this. Alright, um, I want to level with the audience right now. The reason that Jamie is going on about this is because I messed up. We recorded some Dark Souls for about 30 minutes. And I, I messed up the recording, the way we record it. Chase, number 8 isn't even another reason. It's an addition to number 7. It simply says... For example, use a, using a child's toy as a fashion accessory. Everyone loves a slinky. Way to go, Raven. She's got slinkies in her hair. Yeah, I mean... Also, tiny hats and side ponytails. Oh my god. I... Again, that's not... That's just an addition. Xenon rocked the double bun before Miley. Yeah, you're right. You're, I mean, that's, right. that's a fact. There's a, there's a reason. There's a reason to be just like Xenon. She was Miley before Miley was Miley. Is that another And you mimic? know we all love to be Miley. Well, I especially would. She loves to pig out, as we all do. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Xenon has mastered the bitch please face. That's Wait, in quotes. Wait, that was... It's a hard face to master. G-T-F-O, Margie. What? Oh, from Halloween Town? Yeah, I guess. Look here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, Look at this face. Mastered. Jamie, I don't know if you Wait. can tell, but I'm a bit preoccupied. Yeah, great. Bitch, please! Let me look at this. That's so important now. Bitch, please. Right? Mastered. Mastered it. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that I got, um... I'm glad that I got masticated by a living box to, to look at that. Get out. Just leave. Just leave. Thirteen! Being grounded to oh a foreign God. land might break some people's spirit. Fourteen! But not Z. That's not even... That's one sentence. <laughs> it's one sentence that just broke it into two bullets. Jamie, I absolutely cannot do anything with what you're giving me. This isn't comedy. I don't know what you expect of me. 
<laughs> the rest of 14 says, She made the best of a bad situation by riding off into the sunset with Greg. She does not take any sass from weenies Great. like Mr. Lutz. What a weenie he dude, is. Dude, look! Oh, oh, it looked like the guy chomped the, the Black Knight. Well, he didn't. Don't interrupt me. She befriended the lead singer of her favorite band. Microbes coming. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Microbes don't come. They and reproduce Weezer, asexually. Yeah, well. And weaseled her way onto his spaceship. Jamie, do you not see what I'm dealing with here? Do you not think that maybe this is something I And then she totally I should had focus sex on? with it. Wait, what? What? That's not... She no. saved the entire space station from being in jeopardy. Major. That's part of the... That's part of the fucking bullet. That's how they talk. Bullet. <laughs> And as a bonus, she helped Commander Plank find the love so he would get off everyone's backs. Wow, that doesn't that seems like she wasn't helping him at all. Seems like she was just helping herself. Uh but most importantly, Xenon became Protozoa's supernova girl. He makes her heart go boom boom. So that's just Bookmark this episode because those are you know, forget the Ten Commandments. Those are the Twenty Commandments of Xenon. And that's just... That's life. That's what life is. Major. So how you doing? How's the game going? Jamie, uh... I've got a question for you. Yeah? If it has to do... If it doesn't have to do with Xenon, I'm not 100% confident I can answer it. See, Let's Jamie, ask. the question isn't... If you were dropped on your head as a child, the question is, how far was the drop? How much time did you spend in the air awaiting the initial uh, head-to-floor connection that we're all much, much too aware of? Head-to-floor connection is my favorite band. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill you right in your sleep, Jamie. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, I gotta tell ya, I am just... Hello, friend. Are you in like a hotel or like a resort or something? What? I'm in a castle. We've established I, I a lot that. of times. A lot of time that I wasn't paying attention to Yeah, there. I know. What What? What? what were you doing, and Jamie? That could possibly have distracted you from our... I was reading my life goals. I'm gonna put that on my resume. What, I'm gonna put Xenon? those 20 bullet points on my resume, including 13 and 14. <gasps> And they're going to be like, especially 13 and 14. Jamie, we found your resume to be uh, beneficial to you, Major. <laughs> I just want to backstab these guys, but I can't. Well, I can't do it because I'm not good enough. Well, you know. You know who could? This. You know what, who could? Epic, epic name, bro? Probably. Probably Protozoa. <laughs> Protozoa could do it. And if you had befriended him... If you had befriended him... Whoa, look at that bow he's got! Yeah, he's, that's a dragon slayer bow. That is cool. Can you get that? Can you get that bow? Oh, yeah, probably. I need to up my dexterity okay, and my strength. Okay, let me ask again. Can you get the bow, Jace? Yes, I'm not Jamie, asking if the bow is I capable can. of being gotten in the game. I mean, can you do it, though? You want, you want me to get the bow and use it? Yes, we can get the bow and use it, because I need a bow. You won't use it. You're lying to me. You just said it to make me feel better. Someone just died. Yeah, what just died? <laughs> what? Who died? You just walk into a funeral like, who died? Everyone's crying. And they're like, the red-winged monkey thing fell off the fridge. They missed that, too. They missed it because that was part of the episode that I, uh, that I killed. And I'm sorry. I apologize. You should. Look, you dude, should apologize I'm... major. Maybe... Mm -hmm. Jamie, I gotta say, between this and Mario Maker, I don't know if I can even go to work with you <laughs> after this. Get away from those chests. I want those chests. I want what's in those chests. There's something nice in those chests. And neither it's, prob of, it's probably his booty. Neither of them are a minute. His, oh, yeah. You know, there's booty in his chests. Ooh, Silver Knight gauntlets, Silver nice. Knight leggings, nice. and... I'm guessing the rest of the Silver Knight are... Yeah. Oh, wow, is it any good? Let's see. Let's find out. Is it going to be worth using? Or is it going to slow you down too much? I mean, let's it's, see. It's worth it. Um, well, this is uh, this has not as good lightning fire, but, you know, physically, physically it's good. 
I assume that it's the same. Yeah, physically, this is all good. Lightning defense is actually better, so I might put this on for my next... Uh, Super heavy, though. For my twice next... as heavy, almost. Yeah, it is. More, actually. It is twice as heavy. That's not good. No. It's not good. It's not. Minor. It's not good. Hachu. Ble mm, blessed comedy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Glad you showed up today. <laughs> Glad you stepped into the office. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm carrying this episode. Straight to the moon with Xenon. We're going to go to the next episode now. Bye. Because, um... Stop talking, please. I can't. I can't even. I don't even want to hear you say an outro. I just want you to stop talking. Goodbye.